Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Please hit the subscribe and give a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. This is the second video on how to make your own animated movie. And before I continue, I highly recommend that you watch the first video because I said some very important things on the first video. Um, so um, they're going to kind of like... Um, it's going to be a step-by-step -step process. So if you missed the first video, um, you're probably not going to do well on this one. So, um, so it's important to see the first one and then come to this one. Okay, so the first step is what I did was I imported a shuttle from Dash Studio. Right here. I purchased this, um, it's called the Shuttle Star. I purchased it on Dash Studio. Then I added it to my cart. And then there's something else I want to um, tell you that you're probably going to need. I forgot to mention it on the first video. Along with the Dash Studio Pro software, you're going to need the um, Install Manager. You can install that too when you install the Dash Studio. And what happens is when you purchase a model, it downloads it to this, um, into the install manager. Then once you install it, then it goes into the, um, it goes into the Dash Studio product uh, folder. And here's a shuttle star right here. So I was able to um, add it to my scene. So what you do is you just click on it. And there it is, it goes into your scene. So basically what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm going to add two characters to this shuttle, but we're not going to get into um, character animation yet. So we're just going to we're going to build from I'm building from the first video. So this is the second one. So like I said, there are some other features that you're going to need. I didn't mention in the first video. You're going to need the Sony Vegas um, Sony Vegas Pro uh, uh, video editing software. This is what I use. And also for your lip sync and, you know, um, for your voiceovers, you're going to need the WavePad Masters Edition. So when you do your voiceovers, we're going to get into that in a later video. You import your files into here and then you can kind of edit the sound. So let me give you an example here. Oh, boy. Oh my, who are you? My name is Chancellor Annette Elmarosa of Sharon. My name is Chancellor Annette Elmarosa of Sharon. My name is Chancellor Annette Elmarosa of Sharon. The Empire attacked my home and we did not have a chance. They're all dead. Okay, there you go. So you're going to need this and also you're going to need the um, um, iClone 3D Exchange 7. Before you can um, export models out of iClone, you need to have this because um, you won't be able to do it without the um, iClone 3D Exchange 7 when you export models and characters out of iClone. So you're going to need this too. And when we get into character creation, you're going to need the icon character creator too. Also, let's see, I have it here. So we're going to be creating characters and I'm going to show you how to export them out. And um, we're going to go from there. But the first thing, but the second thing I want to focus on is this is the rendered version of what we're going to see inside the shuttle. And I highly recommend that you um, watch that first video because I have a link to the introduction of Maya. So you can learn all the interfaces of Maya and how to move things around, how to scale, rotate things because um, in this shuttle, I added some features. I added this console because I wanted this character to be able to interact with this console I just don't want to, you know, want, to, uh, want him just sitting there just talking 
I want him to be looking kind of busy and it gives um it, it, you, you want to engage the audience a little better so I, we created this um this console here and also what I did was I added two planes inside the shuttle here one on this side and one on that side and what I did was I took a um an image se sequence video and I attached it to these planes to give it a more um a more um more, more of a sci-fi graphic interface look. So, um, so I highly um, recommend that you go back to the first video and check out the um, and, and and click on those links that I gave you on how to um, you know the introduction of of, of of Maya. And also, I highly recommend going to YouTube and watch the introduction of Dash Studio and iClone. So that's going to help you. And I'm going to put some links also on this um, on this video also. So, okay, um, I'm going to add a clip at the, end of, at the end of this video. I want you to check it out. I want you to tell me what you think. Um, you will see these two characters talking to each other. And how he's interface how he's engaging with this console so um, like I said the reason why I'm doing this video because um, I hope I can inspire somebody they may have you know a desire to do animation but they may think they don't have the, um, the skill set or the finances to do it but it is possible because my um, project um, it's on Amazon. This is my um, website here. You can check out the movie trailer. You can check out my gallery. Um, the mission of the studio soundtrack. I have a sound, awesome soundtrack too with the project. And uh, I was able to submit my project to Amazon and it's being streamed as we speak on Amazon. And it's not easy to um, upload content to Amazon. They, um, they have to be worthy for them to have it on a um, Prime video section. So I am a witness that this can be done. This this can be done. So it is possible. So I hope I'm inspiring someone to to reach their goal if this is what they want to do. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this clip. Uh, please leave a comment or if you have any questions, leave them below the comment section. Thank you and have a blessed day. Are you sure they cannot detect us, Gravis? If we are captured, the Empire will torture us for information and put us on trial, then execute us. The Chameleon stealth interface is working at optimal levels. Their scans will not be able to detect us.